what is going on people tunji again from caesar graphics welcome to my channel and if you're new to my channel please remember to hit the subscribe button and if you like this video please remember to hit the like button all right so without wasting time okay guys um this is what we're going to be doing today and um i hope you guys are ready so let's jump right in creating a new document so i'm going to click on file and i'll select new before i um start this project i need to let you guys know what actually inspired this design all right? the title of this design is finish strong all right so what actually inspired the design is you know i thought of it like okay there's no way you got you can finish strong without without facing a um, lot of giants all right what will make you win is when you defeat those giants okay so i looked at it like okay what type of image can i use that will flow with this type of design so i decided to get a picture of um, someone lifting up um, a trophy so i believe you get the idea of uh, the concept now so continue okay so let's continue all right so i'm gonna ha already have um 816 by 816 here and um, my resolution should be um 120 um we're planning to put this on um, instagram so uh the color mode should be rgb and I i'm going to change this to finish stream all right finish strong it's going to be the title of my project so i'm going to hit create let's start bringing in our exercise files so I, i'm going to first uh, bring in the um the crowd so i'm going to drag this and drop like so all right then i am going to scale this so i'm using all to um, adjust the image from the center all right so i'm going to position this here like so then the next thing i'm going to bring in is the trophy so i'm going to drag this and drop and i'm going to scale this okay let's scale this a little bit now i need to zoom in so i can see what i'm doing so this should be somewhere here i'm going to push this out at this point and i'll hit enter okay so i'll bring in the smoke image which is this so i'm gonna drag this and drag this and position it here so i'm to scale this down and i'll choose train all right now this should be behind the um, trophy okay so i'm gonna position this and drag this here and i'll hit command t or control t so the whole idea of um, the smoke image behind the trophy is to make it to, to split separate it from the background so i'm going to just position this here and um, it should be somewhere here like so and yes so i'm going to create a new layer and I'll call this smoke brush. So put it brush two. Call off from here and I'll hit OK. And I'm just gonna brush like so. Alright, so the whole like what I'm trying to do here is I wanted to look as if the smoke effect is actually coming from uh, the back of the trophy and then um, just get it to the front so i'm just going to brush like so all right so i'm going to just uh, leave that like that and um, the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in my color lookup so to bring in the color lookup i'm going to click on this icon the color adjustment icon and i'm going to bring in color lookup and uh, so the option with the um the looks we are going to be using here is going to be the candle lights option there's one other thing i want to quickly explain to you guys so i know i'm going to be putting information on this design all right so when you're doing design okay i would advise you to always have this in mind that your background should not kill the information on your design all right so i'll repeat it again always make sure that you have your content like the content you're putting on the design in mind so 
how I normally do this is I always make sure that my background is not going to affect the information I'm going to be putting on the design. So I always try as much as possible to make that part separate. Like at times I make it darker or I make it brighter. But I'm going to be making that part where I'm going to be putting the um, information darker so that so as to make it come out when I start putting my um, stuff on it. So um, let's continue. So I'm just going to um, we need to make this darker now. So I'm going to um, select the curve uh, adjustment tab here, and I'll bring it um, curve. So I'm going to drag this down about here like so. So and as you can see, it's affecting the trophy. So I'm just going to make this be behind the trophy. Yes, yeah, excellent. So I'm just going to push this down like so. And the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in another curve um, adjustment. So I'm just going to come here and pick this. And this time, I'm just going to push this down like so, and push this down like so. So also, I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing clearly. So I, I'm going to impact this down. Okay. So to do that, I'll make sure you are on the vector max box here. And I am going to hit the command I on my keyboard or control I on my keyboard. And I'm going to make sure I'm on my brush too. And my flow should be something around 25. All right. So I need to invert this. Okay. It's already inverted. So I'm just going to brush the part I want the, um, if the curve adjustment to affect. So I'm just going to brush here. Well, now notice that the opposite of the color of my vector mark is what I'm using, which is white. So I'm just going to brush here like so. I need to add um, the next thing we're going to do now is to add the um, color balance adjustment. So I'm going to go to the adjustment tab again and I hit the color balance. Now, I'm going to, for, so I'm going to, I'm only going to work on the mid tone. All right, so. For my red, I'm going to make this um, 48. Then I'll leave magenta the way it is. Then yellow should be something around um, 8, minus 8, I guess. Should be, should be minus 8. Um, yeah, so the next thing we're going to do now is to add more depth to this. So I, you need, I need to make this stand out more from the background. So to do that, I'm going to create a new layer by holding alt and click on the new layer icon and i'm going to call this dodge all right dodge and this should be overlay i'm sure if you're used to my tutorial you're going to see me do this um i, I do this a lot so i'm just going to select the dodge to here all right and uh, make a mark selection of the trophy because i don't want the um effect i'm about to do now to affect my background so what I'm going to do now is to hit the command H on my keyboard to hide the Marquis selection. I'm going to select the dodge tool now and I'm going to increase the size of my brush. And I'm just going to brush this side because I want this to pop out more. So for this side, I'm just going to brush. This side I'm going to brush like so. So I'm using I'm reducing the size of my brush with the square brackets key on my keyboard. So I'm just gonna add more depth to this side. Depth to this side. So add noise to this. So to do that. I'm going to make a new layer now. So this time I'm going to hold down Alt and click again. And uh, I'm going to call this noise. All right. And I click OK. Now, don't forget, I still have that uh, map selection around uh, my layer. So to remove it, first I'm going to hit the Command H on my keyboard. As you can see, I have it now. Then I'm going to hit the Command D or Control D on my keyboard to um, take out the macro selection. So now I'm going to make my foreground color gray by hitting the 
code here by typing 80 80 80 and i'm gonna hit okay then i fill this with um, gray with the hot um backspace short code so i'm gonna hit the filter now select noise and select hard noise 12.5 and um uniform is fine and then monochrome to make it black and white is fine for me so i'm gonna hit okay the blend mode I'm going to use now is going to be satellites, and uh, I'm going to reduce the opacity just a little bit. Now, as you can see, if I zoom in now, you see this noise effect on my project, which I love so much. So I'm going to um, notice that I'm seeing too many um, brownish color here. So I'm just going to go to call the adjustments tab now and bring in here, and I'm going to just reduce the strength of that like so yeah i think i like it this way okay so um yeah so the next thing we're going to do now is to uh make this project pop up more all right by having more depth to it so we're going to be using camera raw filter to do that so let's continue this is where we are now so i'm just going to hit the ctrl shift alt and e on my to take a screenshot of the project and i am going to select filter and i'm going to click on the camera raw option here so first i need to increase the exposure all right so i need to go now so you can see so you guys can see what i'm doing um exposure should be out like so all right and then the highlight i need to reduce that because as you can see i have um, the exposure has affected um, the highlight of the project so i don't want that to happen so i'm just going to put Alright, so what the highlight does is going to look at the project and look at the part where I have white on um, the project and then boost it or reduce it for me depending on what I do here. So for the shadow, I'm going to reduce it. So my goal is to make sure that this guy here, this part here is um, very visible, alright, because this is what I'm trying to sell. Okay, so for the whites, I'm just going to boost that. I'm going to increase that, all right, just to make this um, light effect uh, pop out more. And uh, for the clarity, I'm just going to push that in just to darken the darker part, of, uh, the part where I have like 50% uh, black. Like so, uh, yeah. so I can even increase the variance a little bit. Yes. Then um, for the sharpening. I'm gonna put this like so and um yeah so for the shadow i need to add um i want to add a little bit more red to it this is what i'm going to be using to apply the red so i'm just going to put this in the bottom so. so i think i'm okay with this i'm gonna hit okay Cool. So as you can see, if I zoom in now and I show you the before, this is the before and this is the after. I believe you can spot the difference. Okay, it's still looking too visible for me because I don't want to affect my um, text when I create um, um, a new layer now. And I'll change this to multiply. And I'm gonna just sample a color from here. And I hit OK. And I select brush. Now this time. Um, my flow should be something around uh, let's say 41 is fine so i'm just going to brush all right then i reduce the opacity just a little bit okay so this is where i'm going to pause and then by the time um i come back i'm you're going to see me you're going to see the um, information for this project so here we have all right so i so um the color I used for the text here, I sampled it from, I got it from this um, color here, all right? And the font that I use is the um, a vertical font family. So that's what I use for, so that, that's what I use for the text. Okay. So thank you guys for um, watching today's tutorial. And um, please, if you're new to my channel, remember to hit the subscribe button so you will be notified anytime i post my um tutorials if you like this video please remember to hit the thumbs up button below
Okay, guys, I'll see you in my next tutorial.